Hey guys, Mohan Pobert here and today I'm going to share with you how to share probably the three biggest challenges that any business got, which is uh, time, money and your team. So let's get to it. I'll share with you everything that's worked for me, worked for me right now and I hope it will add some value to you guys as well. Hey guys, so my name is Mohan Pobert. If you're new to this uh, channel, I'm the founder of acquisitions.com. It's even weird for me to, to say it, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty uh, fairly new acquisition. Um, and I'm an owner and a partner in multiple other kind of like holding companies, businesses. We have uh, very unique structures and I'll probably be able to share on some of those uh, more in the future. But you can see ABD assets, Wikix and some other roll ups that we're working on right now uh, in terms of tech and other industries. But either way, today I want to dive into a very specific topic on kind of like the biggest challenges that every team got. Right. So. If you don't have the right team, if you don't have the, the time, if you don't have all those things, I mean, or money, obviously, then it's hard to grow a business. I don't care if you try to grow organically one client at a time or you try to grow by acquisitions by buying other businesses. And that's what I want to share with you. And let's go one by one. I'm kind of like what I see are the mistakes and what I see that you can solve and make better in your business journey. So let's start with time, right? And that's one of the biggest challenges that I see with business owners. We either try to start from scratch or even people who try to buy businesses or grow their businesses by acquisitions is that they try to do everything on their own. Right? They think that uh, if I can't do it, if, like if there is any, there's a sentence that says, uh, in order for you to be done well, I got to do it or something like that. Right. And that's the last thing you want to think about as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a visionary, as an investor. If you are going to do everything on your own, it's going to be really, really difficult for you to be successful in business, at least at a, a very high scale. Can you get to one million uh, a year in sales? Uh, Perhaps like even I don't even know many business owners who get to one million a year in sales and revenues. I'm not talking profit just by themselves. Think about people like Richard Branson. They, the guy owns, I think, hundred, I think more than 400 businesses or something like that. And think about it, guys. We're talking about some of his businesses are making hundreds of millions in order for him to be able to own those businesses and obviously he's not owning 100 percent of each of those businesses but even owning a small minority in those businesses you can't do everything on your own warren buffett owns multiple businesses he can't do everything on his own he's owner of coca-cola he can't create actually like the bottles and all the, the drinks right and have all the and put all the green ingredients into each bottle you gotta be willing to delegate and in my opinion, business is a very spiritual journey, literally just to let go of the need to control, to be able or the need to do everything on your own and be OK with sharing, be OK with giving and really check a book by the name of Diamond Cutter. It's a life changing book. Literally, I recommend it to every one of my clients. It's about the idea that you got to let go. You got to be willing to give. You got to have a generosity kind of mindset of mentality. And if you're not willing to give and, and kind of like share the equity, share the wealth with others, it's going to be really, really difficult for you to grow as a person or as a business person. Now let's talk about money. Obviously, if you want to grow a business, I'm talking about large scale, multiple seven, eight figure, nine figure businesses. If you look at the best businesses in the world, uh, look at the biggest businesses in the world, they raise capital, they get access to capital. And it means that the money don't need to be necessarily your money. I think if there's something that I really believe in is the fact that it's more about resourcefulness than having resources. Because you look at like the biggest companies in the world, look at Facebook, uh, they're buying businesses like WhatsApp and Instagram and, and all of those other acquisitions or Google are buying many businesses or bought YouTube, for example. In order to do that, the owners didn't take like all of their life savings to buy those businesses. They use OPM, other people money in order to go out there and buy other businesses and grow that way. They use leverage in terms of debt leverage or equity. They either uh, sh sell some of their shares to the public or they raise capital from banks or all other different ways that you can structure that I show to my clients that you can structure deals where you don't necessarily need to put all of your life savings. You can negotiate a win-win deals between you and the seller. So perhaps you're not giving even money, but you're giving something that is worthy of money. So because money in the end of the day, guys, if you don't have money, money is just a way to transfer value between people. So if you have a way to give value to the other side that isn't just paper, 
that's worth money. I mean, if you have value that you can bring and watch some of my other videos, I talk about how I know people and I did it myself, get equity in existing established businesses just for the value that I bring in terms of my experience, my knowledge, my expertise, and some of the assets that I bring to the table. So sometimes money isn't necessarily the solution. It's about, it's not about the resources again, which is money. It's about being resourceful and finding win-win scenarios for everyone that's involved in a deal. Now, a little bit about the team that you have. We said, so first of all, if you want more time, you got to be willing to let go. And when you let go, it means that you got to let others have responsibilities. But even when you let go and let others do things, you need to understand that you got to raise the standards of who you bring to the table. When I bring people to the table, I want like, like when you hire someone to your business, that person who got hired, let's say in five years from now, five years from now, you need to think, oh man, I was lucky that I got in so early into that business because the standard is always going up and the level of people that you bring to the table is always going up. You need to get comfortable with the idea that you have brilliant people around you and ideally smarter people around you. That's the only way to grow. If you're, there's, there's a sentence that said, if you're the smartest person in the room, you gotta switch rooms, go to a different room. If you wanna learn and grow, you gotta feel uncomfortable a little bit about the people that you hang out with. Because if everyone is at your level or lower, it means that, again, there's nothing wrong if you're okay with it, it's all good, but it means that you're in your comfort zone and it means that you're just not growing as much as you can. Now, when you hire those people, you need to understand that if you don't have the same values, that can be a huge, huge uh, problem. Like some of the biggest mergers between companies, they fail because the wrong culture, there's a lack of culture, uh, I guess, synergies. And that's why when you start with everything and when I work with my clients and I tell them, hey, go and look to buy your business, uh, buy your first business or grow by acquisitions, you first need to have the fundamentals right. First, you need to understand what is your vision looks like. What are the values that you want to have in your operations, in your conglomerate or holding company that you try to build? You need to understand that unless you have those values in place, it's going to be really, really difficult for you to filter those values with other people. And I'm sorry, I always notice that I have those <laughs> headphones with me. Uh, and keep this in the video. It's all good, but it's funny. I never feel them. I, I destroyed a few of those because I, I try to shower with them, literally. Uh, I just don't, I forget that I have them on me. But either way, guys, remember that the, the values that you have is, are super important. Otherwise, you maybe, maybe you, one is, of your values is work hard. And then you hire someone whose his values is like lifestyle. I just want to chill. I want a lifestyle. I want to work smart. Guys, you're going to have problems with this because he want to work little and be work smart you want to work a lot of hours because you understand that you need to work hard and smart i don't believe in just smart work you need to do both you need to work hard and smart to be successful in the levels that are really really that at least i'm trying to talk to you about in this channel i'm talking like making the most out of yourself so when you have those visions you then gotta be willing to trust others guys you gotta be willing to trust and you gotta learn how to recruit uh, employees and people into your dream some of the most important skills that you can have as an entrepreneur, as a visionary, as a businessman, as an investor, however you want to call yourself, is to know how to recruit the right people. If you look at the biggest companies in the world, they are that good because they have the best people in them, because they have the best incentives to build, bring those people to them. And you got to have some way to bring the best people to your dream, to your vision, because if you won't have a way to convince the right people to be as part of your vision, as part of your dream, as part of your team, it's going to be really, really difficult for you to grow to the level that you can and when you understand that that time isn't your problem your problem is that you're not willing to let go and give responsibilities to others and you probably don't know how to bring in the right people when you know that you basically solve the problem of time because you leverage that with other people and then money when you have the right especially if you watch the channel and the videos that i'm putting here you need to understand that finding money isn't the problem. The problem is finding the right deal with the right people. So when you have the right people and you know how to recruit people and you're not making mistakes with your recruitment and the vision that you have with your business, finding money and being resourceful won't be as much of a problem. Obviously, you got to know how to find that money and be resourceful in a way that's working right now in terms of finding money now in 2019 and knowing how to position yourself to find the money. 
but money is out there guys money is abundance it's all about finding the value that you can bring to the table to get in touch with that money so i hope it makes sense guys i hope you got some value here let me know in the comments below what do you think if you didn't yet like and subscribe to the channel because i'm putting as many videos as i can about this topic of business and others of how to grow by acquisitions and buy businesses and just business growth in general i know that this is the channel that i wish that i had when i started that i could learn from so if you didn't yet please subscribe it's really helping me with the growth of the channel let me know in the comments what you think and go see the links in the description below i'm going to put it free training free training of how some of my clients are buying one two three businesses in less than a year and how you can do the same so go and check the links below check the training I hope you got some value in this video and I'll see you soon.